So in this question, we're asked to determine the nature of the roots of this quadratic function. So let's talk a bit about what roots are and how we find them. Roots are where the graph of this quadratic function crosses the x-axis. So various possibilities for a quadratic crossing the x-axis. It might not do so. It might just touch or it might cross at two places. So in this case there'll be one root. In this case there'd be two roots. And in this case there'd be no roots. So no roots here, no real roots. One root, one real root and two roots, two real roots. Now next, how would we find the value of x where the graph of a function like this crosses the x-axis? Well, on the x-axis, the y value is 0. The value of 7x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals 0. So we'd need basically to solve f of x equals 0. For what values of x is 7x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals 0? And if we find these values, then these are the roots. However, there is a way of finding um, the roots without solving that equation completely. There ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. You know the quadratic formula. That tells you the value of the roots of that equation. There it is. You're given that in the exam. And plus or minus the square root of this quantity, b squared minus 4ac, if that, that determines the number of roots that there are, number of solutions for x. Because if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then we've got plus something that exists minus something that exists. So the, the square root of a number greater than 0 is a real number. If you add and subtract, you'll get two values. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, plus or minus 0, you'll get the same answer whether you add 0 or subtract 0. So there'd only be one answer. There'll be one root. And of course, if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, you're in a bit of problem because the square root of a negative number is certainly not a real number. So plus or minus, there, there is no real number that we're adding or subtracting. The whole thing breaks down and would say there's no real roots. Now this quantity b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant. So it all depends on working out the discriminant here. And we'll compare this with ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And you can see that a has a value of 7, b has a value of 5, and c has a value of negative 1. So in this case the discriminant that's b squared minus 4ac it's the quantity that appears underneath the square root sign in the quadratic formula when you're solving this quadratic equation. b squared would be 5 squared minus 4 times a is 7 and c is negative 1. So we've got 25 Four sevens are 28 times 1 is just 28. These two negatives imply it's a plus. So it's 25 plus 28, so it comes to 53. So we know that the discriminant, in this case, is greater than 0. So there are two, and they're distinct. There's two different, we'll put in distinct, there are two distinct real roots. Now, because it involves the square root of 53, 
uh, it will be irrational roots. They're, they don't turn out to be a nice chunky number like square root of 49 would give you a chunky 7. Uh, the square root of 53 is not a nice number. It's an irrational number, decimal that goes on forever. So they are irrational, but that's not required uh, to correctly answer this question. What they're concerned about is that you know there's two of them, they're different, and they're both real. So two distinct real roots.